Hey everybody, it's Chance here with yet a another video game. This time it's Alan Wake Remastered. Um, it's a game developed by Remedy Entertainment. Um, I believe the original Alan Wake was released in 2010. And then they remastered it in 2021, I believe. Um, people say to play the remastered because it has, quote, all the DLC, I believe. So I'm like, you know what, let me pick up the remastered. People say that it's generally, that's, if you're going to play Alan Wake, that's the way to go. So, at least from the, like, two things I looked at anyway, I didn't look into it too hard because I kind of just wanted to play the game. Um, so, um, and part of the reason I'm playing this is because I, uh, everyone's been talking about Alan Wake 2, Alan Wake 2. It's good, it's good. And I'm just like, hmm, it's good, isn't it? Um, I have played um, Control before, one of Remedy's other games. Um, I never beat it. I actually built my current PC partially um, to be kind of top-ish of the line. Like, it's not the top of the line, top of the line stuff. I'm not, I'm not rich, but like, I got really good uh, components. Um, and stuff just so that I could play games to look really good. Um, and specifically, um, I think Control was the game coming out around the time and I was really excited for it. Um, that was an interesting time of my life, um, for sure. I think back, that was back in 2018. Oh, a long time ago at this point. Um, but, um, I never beat that game. I have seen people play Alan Wake and talk about Alan Wake. So I know some of like the broad things about this game, but I don't remember the ending or really any of the important plot beats. Um, I use Let's Plays and um, live streams as like a background media thing for myself, so... Um, if I lose track and I'm not paying attention, it's not the end of the world for me, you know? Um, so, yeah, um, let me see. Did I change any settings in here? Um, I did pick up the game earlier. Oh. Um, okay. I turned off motion blur because it makes me feel sick. Um, didn't change anything else, though. I have subtitles on, I have the video commentary off. I'm um, not really sure what that means. I made the font size a bit bigger too. Um, and we're gonna play on easy, because I like playing games easy. And my current existing checkpoint will be re-overwritten, because I started playing this game before, and I decided to... Stephen King once wrote mind. that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again.
suddenly his body was gone. Episode one. I was in Nightmare. shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Oh. No, I actually like this, yeah. I like this. Um my book. This is my newest book. I have nothing to say about my newest book except for jumping on it. I was um, certain I had just driven from this direction. But now the road was blocked. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay. Get to the lighthouse. Okay. Fucked up the bike. Oh, I keep the jumping instead of examining. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. The car wasn't going anywhere. Um, something I learned upon... Because I thought, oh, this is the tutorial. No way I'm going to die. You can die in the tutorial. I fell off the bridge to get that thermos. So I, I, I believe the thermoses are the collectibles in this game. Come on, Alan. Let's go. They can do it there. Oh, he can do it. Oh! Get to the lighthouse. Thank you for reminding me where it is. Anyway, I'm busy. Got time to jump. The bridge had collapsed. Good. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. I fell down that cliff by accident because I was really curious about how bad. Oh, um, I guess it's not here anymore because I already collected it in my in, in, a, in an existing playthrough. So, cool. Don't have to worry about that. All right. But. Um, I essentially stopped right when Alan wakes up after talking with that old guy on the boat. His wife. So. Checkpoint reached. Oh. Oh. You don't even ah. recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think Give me you're alone. God? You think you can just make up stuff? <laughs> Play with people's lives? Come on, mate. Alright. He is running now. It's like, ah, oh, damn! I missed my deadline. Not again. You can't stop me. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Hmm. Um. This man cannot run for long. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Uh, bad. Bad. Incredibly awful, actually. Come on, Alan, buddy. Come on, Alan, buddy. I know. I know. You're not the fittest guy on the planet. You are wearing this... Kinda ugly um, hoodie under your jacket combo. I'm trying, man. Um, it is kind of ugly, Alan. This is not it. I'm sorry. This fit not it. I know. Damn, the beginning of your novel is fucking crazy, Alan. 
I was trapped. There was no way out. How do I get out, Alan? Tell me, please. This is, sequence is making me scared. Fuck. Oh! Follow the light. I'm coming. Fuck you are hurt. You should go into the I'm trying. I'm trying, things. man. important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. That, none of that made any sense. Top, gotta say. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. This is such a fucking sequence. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks, gang. In the night, I hope this guy comes a terrible back. darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Item limit. Nope, it is not. Am I not healing? fully healed? I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I feel fear in my life. Everyone's so mean to me, I say, as I jump off the cliff. I'm holding my gun. Okay. Let's 
Lisa, you gotta think with your brain. You can't just panic. Just like, just like me. Ha! <laughs> ha! Nice. They fucking ragdolled. Oh, I see. Fuck you. I should probably switch to the to the gun. I can keep this up. Well, I can. Okay, I'm a I'm just a writer. I'm very out of shape. It does help knowing that because of um, because of control. I don't know if it's proven in the story or not, uh, but because of control, for sure, we know that this is real. This is a real. These are real events occurring. Question: Is he? Because he started by being like, "This is a dream I've been having a lot lately." Is he having like this exact sequence of dream every night? Does whenever he die, like, does it? Is it a new night? I mean, I know that's not the case. But that would be Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Bright Falls. A checkpoint reached. Hello, wife. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. Okay. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. You know what? I'm gonna listen to my wife. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Yeah, no, that is just like a hoodie. In an interview. Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change Sorry, your mind. I'm I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Okay, I'm trying to figure out his, uh, his jacket situation. He is wearing three jackets, it looks like. Uh, we got this hoodie. Hoodie jacket. Pretty, pretty classic. We got the... I know there's a name for it. Tweed? Is that Tweed? Yeah, it looks like that's a Tweed jacket with the um, elbow pads. And then... Is that like a, a jean material? Very nice. Uh. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Thank you. 
Yeah. Hey, I have Ben Zeller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got. Him. Sorry, I gotta get up on the top here. I gotta have a Stay private word, conversation. I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. Just looking on so, that. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Ooh, giant deer. Hey, I'm just looking out for you, buddy. It is deer fest. They say so I love right you there. too, Barry. Right falls, you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. My man. Come on, let's get back to the car. I want to talk to this guy. Hey. Okay. Never mind. You don't want to talk to me, like even a little bit. Sorry. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. He was in my dream. I'll go fill he her up while you get the keys. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. <laughs> well... Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't. I love. It. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Okay, really odd. Now everyone's gonna know what you look like. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. <laughs> Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! Wow. You put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't it does murder that. you Get in your stuck. sleep. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Okay, there is like a real chance that, um... I don't know if that's the case in this game. Uh, there is a chance that the yes, that's um, my favorite tune, coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has been. Now I that's what I'm talking about. Yes. She... This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Yeah. Well, it does say stuff only. I'm not surprised. Um, what the hell was I even thinking? <laughs> I was really thinking something, and that just took away every single thought I might have. Um, oh yeah, I know. I know that like in some big games, like the audio won't get through. We'll see. Um, worst case scenario, I'll mute it out, but. Um, I'll know for the future if that's the case, though. Coffee World, opening soon. Hey, man, what's poppin'? Hey, lady, uh, what's poppin'? 
She's focused. Go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. Ah, lock, I wanted to find Stuck to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always dead. She should change the bulb. This is what happens when he gets sloppy. Okay. This whole stuff is strange. I like how instead of waiting, Alan's like, no, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, that's the ladies' room. Hey, Barry. Or Carl. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Not Gene. Sorry, I'm like trying to identify the material of these jackets. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But oh, I have so a key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Well, I know he was already here. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. The vibes. They're bad, but they're like bad in a cool way. Uh Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. C cool, thank you. Um It's gonna kinda walk you very fast. This time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> Even that sounds better than you singing. Are you alright? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a bull. The Andersons, they're, uh, local <laughs> We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. I don't know, it seems pretty normal to me. That's just how some people are like. Bye! Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Like, Alan's weak voice is very hey, iconic. Wake. Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh man, poor Stucky. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Divers Isle. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Let's get going. I, like, it's not like they were playing music in the car. They couldn't have been that loud. Their car can't be that loud. If it's that loud, you got, you, Alice, um, um, we should really get our car checked. If we can, if we can go with the light, like, I don't know how expensive a place like this is. Um, but I know they're playing on, like, Stephen King fame. I mean, they quoted him, right? Uh, like, Stephen King got a lot of money. Let me in. Come on. That's not how 
clocks work. I it's don't, dark don't in there. In. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me a second. Hello? Anyone here? The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview. Dude. Now let's uh, go to the phones, call her. You're on KVFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. Oh, no. I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. <laughs> yeah, man, me too. I saw him at the diner. Oh, I am uh, so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here too. Well, folks. Uh, he was like trying to be like so courteous. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Sorry, I was listening to the radio. How do I get in this weird shed? An old oh, generator is. had been connected to the power cable. I didn't even need the thing. That's because I'm a gamer. Um, only real gamers know when to time their button clicks. Lights on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. I will. Thank you. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Well, things go wrong really fast because you are about to enter a hell nightmare, Alan. But that's fine. We're gonna go inside. No. He's gonna be logical about this. And come on, walk to the back like you're supposed to. Alice? Honey? The old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. I came out here because I wanted to. She said she would freshen up. The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. I would love to actually go to a cabin. You're like a lakefront. I've. I remember like doing that once when my family friend. Uh, no, no, it was actually my friend. Um, had Alan! like a. Uh, Alan, a where are you? Come inside, honey. I'm coming. I'm coming. Alan, honey. I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Upstairs, hang it with my wife. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! My enemy. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn it, Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. 
kind of suck, man. Alice? Alice? No! Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. What? What? What the hell? I'm coming. I was attacked by birds. I'm not meaning to skip, I just wasn't sure. <laughs> Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? He's not doing good. Uh. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Okay. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Over here? I, I just don't want to fall off a cliff. No, thank you. Hmm. Collapsed car cable. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Ah. Uh. In my quest. Damn. Oh. Hi. There goes my phone. I mean, my car. You know, I of course I would make that mistake. After all, um, you'd be looking at that goddamn phone. Go to the gas station. Being blinded by the light. Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I can access them with the button. Alright, titled page of manuscript. wonder what that little symbol means. Uh, find this page in nightmare difficulty mode. No, thank you. <laughs> um, Departure no, thank you. by Alan Wegg. All right, let's read the book. Okay, that's it. Beautiful. The man Alice, turned to wonderful. face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the ax he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Mm. Mm, I see. That's life. Sometimes you meet an axe murderer in the woods, you know? Um, just normal guy things. Um, I have been watching a lot of Detective Conan, though. Anybody there? Uh, Please! I've been in an accident! I've been in an accident. Um, I'm hurt. Uh, I don't have a flashlight. I don't have a gun. Um, God didn't come to me in this version of my dream. So... 
I love how the checkpoints are constantly recorded. The lights up ahead were a good like... sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the ah. way down to the gas station to find a phone. Yay. Time to go down, to go down. Kasha, let's go. No, I'm gonna enter through the front like normal. Ugh. Alright, let's keep going. Let's run. Am I supposed to just climb up that? Okay. That's what they're telling me to do. Hazardous equipment. Okay, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. I see. Anybody hmm. there? Please, I've been in an accident. Well, that means I would fall. Hey! Hey, oh, you! Okay. Failed! <laughs> I was like, There's been an I accident! I need help! Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please to meet you. Non reservation reservation has required. Fair and square. <laughs> Case scenario, I die. Oh, pay! Well, he's busy. You lose. Shit. I lost my deposit. The scariest thing of all is losing your deposit. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Wow. Oh, now we have, now we're getting the weapons again. This time God isn't giving it to us. During your record, trying, it's the latest thing. In testably proven health benefit lets you one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol yes. levels. Great right Mall Sheriff Station. Oh, may I... Hello? Hello? The spot. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting for him to. Oh! Uh. Uh, 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 okay, 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 uh, oh, whoops, I was too slow. Proven health benefits let you kill one stone. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol yes. levels. Great Falls Sheriff Station. Hold me up. Hello? Mm. Okay, which way the hell am I 
supposed to go. Okay, this way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dream Door. There were more of them. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. I'm on, Alan. The Dark Forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. It's rabbit season. Bitch. Or, uh, it's duck season, actually, or something. Let's go. Ooh, manuscript. Oh, brown button. Wait, taken the taken with the light. Before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Hmm. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Wow. Wow, Ellen. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Okay. Nice. Oh, well, I just came from there, so. Down. Down. I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I don't know, we're doing pretty okay. I think Mr. Allen Wake. Is that the right way? I have a feeling that it was I did get a manuscript page. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on oh, the line Barry. and his were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that oh, they were both on a second days. one. But Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Mm, multiple days. You know what? I actually don't know how time moves in this game. Come on, Alan. We can do it. There you go. Oh, well, this is the right way. Where I go? I want 
Stucky was still out there, in the dark. Stalking. Me too, man. All right, all right. Fucking wish you were me. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck you. I'm busy. I'm busy. No! No! Leave me alone! Like, seriously, leave me the fuck alone. Fuck you. Ugh. That was so good. Honestly, um, the manners on some of these people, ugh. You know, um... Let's see. Logging Harry ahead! Does that mean we're gonna have more axe killers? Cause that's what I think it means. The staircase was broken. I had to make Damn. my way up some other way. Damn. <laughs> well, if that's what you say. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. What's that? It's green. It's always something. Fuck you! Probably should not be running in the logging site, but it's fine. Breathe. Come on, Alan. Breathe. You can do it for me, buddy. Oh, I... a ladder. Time to climb the ladder. Up you go. Alright. Alright, now let's climb. Ah, oh, damn. Not, not enough. I 
maybe that. Let's try that one. Up we go. Oh. Alrighty. <gasps> hmm. Because I do these videos so far in advance, I don't want to, like, talk about things that are no longer even closely relevant anymore. But also, um, I like to think people would understand. Oh, wait. No, that's not. Oh, white, white lounging chair. Time to take a nap, Alan. Ooh. Oh, not doing this. Oh, I see. I understand everything now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, updates on me. Um, I am recording this on the first of December, so um, depending on what. Um, Shotgun. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather's absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest mm. is quietly breathing along with you. Do listeners know I'm I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. But here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Connor, you're on the air. Hey, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is Probably a rabbit. Oh no! Toby! Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too tough for his own good. Well, of course. It's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. You have a good night now. Well, it's time to find a dog. Um, Toby! Come on, boy. There's a manuscript page. <laughs> and I was right. I keep pressing the wrong button. I At find first, I kept finding the pages as one. if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. But yeah, um, I'm recording this in the beginning of uh, December. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Oh, guys sound, you know, I guess, I mean, if they weren't trying to kill me, they'd be fine, but I don't know. I want to hear more what this guy ought to say to me. Bitch. Safe haven. Oh, it was leading me to the safe haven with the little dots I saw. Oh, fuck you guys. Y'all are rude. 
I am just a guy in the world, and here you guys are being rude as shit. Okay? Ugh. You know, they tell you, like, go outside, get some fresh air, but when I go outside, the killer gets me. Try again. Third time's the charm, right, guys? Right. I'm gonna be kind of 1000% with you guys. I kind of don't really understand how this works. But, um. Oh, someone's throwing knives at me? Damn, man. Why, why, why are we doing that? stepped into the gas, the station's gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Wow. Out of here. Where, where am I going? Sorry, I am up here. I think. I'm not very good at reading Matt at, at, at um. Ooh, light! Yippee! really hard to orient myself. Um. Oh, down here, okay. Oh, that's some gold. Well, I'm busy. Oh no, get out of here. Ah, fuck. Get me out of here. Oh, I'm gonna super die. I'm gonna have what they call super death. Come on, Alan, 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 Alan. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. Quantum suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment, known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own heart. Mm. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they This is a shitty Twilight episode. Twilight. I know it's like a p it's ripping this off. Thing <gasps> did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Oh my God. Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. It's like cute in the game, right? Where, um. It's cute in the game where it's like, oh, that's cute, that's something in the world. Um. But if I'm talking like a critic. If that was a, a Twilight... Because it's a parody on the Twilight Zone. But if that was a Twilight Zone episode, I'd be like... That one sucked. I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's merely trying to bring up something to think about as opposed to... Um, something actually... Real in the, in the, in the, in the, in the world. But also... Bum, ba, da, da, dum. I'm allowed to say whatever I want. This is a AAA video game that's insanely popular. Who cares? Oh! Oh, that's why I clicked the button. <laughs> wow. I'm what they call a genius. Did you know that? Hey, guys. Did you know? I'm the smartest man alive. Well, this isn't ominous at all. Nothing bad is... Surely nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad has ever happened, ever. There are so many of them. What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? Let me out of here. Alan 
is dead. I don't have a flare. Let me tell you what I have. A gun. Ugh. Let me try again. Shall we? I'm really bad at this. Get me out of here! I'm trying to move. Oh my god, leave me alone! Oh. I mean, I know what you're saying, but I don't have a flare gun. You can get yourself out of this with a flare gun! Well? What flare gun? Where? I don't know, let's try the shotgun maybe. I don't know. Oh! Well that'll probably help. If I, you know... Reloaded the gun. That would help, probably. <laughs> I did it! Oh, now it's Ducky's turn! Oh, what the hell? Get me out of here! Ah, ah, fuck you! Fuck you! Get out of here! You guys suck! You guys suck! Get out of here! Leave me alone! Oh my god. Can I work? Can I be allowed to work, please? Thank you. Hey, Stucky. Go kill yourself. Can I get out? Or do I have to kill Time Demon Stucky? Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Alright. Okay. I recognized a the lot parade of float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Beautiful. <sighs> Alrighty. After the insanity okay. I had just experienced in the darkness, 
The lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Let's go into the light. Oh, meeting script, meeting script. Excuse me, excuse me, everyone, excuse me. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Damn. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Okay. I think this is where I'm going to take a break for today. Um, gasoline. Boy, because I'm getting kind of tired. Um, so, yeah. So, that's it for today's episode of Alan Wake. I hope you guys have a great one. And we'll get right back to it next time. Bye-bye. Um,